Target creature cannot block. Making a treasure. Exiling the top card. It's another breaches. Breaches, 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 breaches. <laughs> What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. As you can see, things have changed a little bit, but sadly, only for the intro and outro, because I installed my new freaking camera, and oh my lord, look how crisp I am. Look how crisp a card can be in this camera. Isn't it freaking amazing? It is freaking amazing. So yeah, I installed the camera only today. I recorded all of the videos yesterday. So the next four videos, only the intro and outro will be looking crisp like this. But hey, you know, that's better than nothing. So <laughs> don't you, don't start complaining now. You know, starting in five days, well, four days from now on out, um, everything will be looking like this. So yeah, that is pretty darn cool. Also, thank you also very freaking much for the support. We're almost on 26,700 already. We crashed the 600 yesterday, but for some reason people went berserk for the trumpeting Knarlazor deck or whatever its name is. So thank you all so very much for that. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Yarmati hammering. We're playing Captain Crunch. Why do I call it Captain Crunch? Well, you know, if you have seen the other videos, you know that I tried Captain Crunch for the first time. And this is in honor of that. I'm finally playing Pirates. It's an aggro deck, which, uh, like, you know, still ways to uh, survive the game for a little bit longer. So, what are we doing? Well, one of the main cards is this Breaches, 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 Breaches. Yes, that is a Jack Black playing freaking, uh, you know, Bowser reference. Breaches is insanely good. So, insanely good. Uh, whenever a pirate you control attacks, it doesn't matter how many. A pirate. So, for three pirates, you choose all three. Uh, you choose one of the modes, you make a treasure, the target creature can't block this turn, and you exit the top card of your library, and you may play it this turn. All of these things are freaking amazing. Um, the most important ones are of course treasure and creature cannot block, but if you can exit out the top card and maybe get something out of it that is also very darn good, why the freaking heck not? So, what are the things that we want to get? Like an instant speed, you know? Maybe a spell pierce so that we can count a wandering emperor, the monstrous rage so we can put it on one of our creatures, also very darn good. But all of the other things are also very nice, like a charter course or one of the other freaking creatures. So spell pierce is in here because uh, we're kind of aggro and we want to, you know, be certain that they cannot wipe the board, so that is very good. Monster Rage is in here so that we can trample through and with first strike and trample that is very darn freaking nice. So what are some of the other new cards that we're playing? Well, removal with the Kite Sail Larcenist. When this enters the battlefield it's a 3 mana 2-3 with flying and ward 1 which by itself is already very darn freaking good. So, but also, uh, when it enters the battlefield for each player you choose up to one target artifact or creature that player controls and for as long as the Larcenist is on the battlefield the creature turns into a pumpkin, I mean into a treasure. So, and uh, you know, just has all the abilities of a treasure and loses all other abilities. But one important thing that I want to point out is that if there's like a card beneath and you turn it into a treasure, it will stay a freaking treasure with the card beneath. I think I had this in the video that I will be showing in two days, but there was like the bat that stole a card, I turned the bat into a treasure and you know, now the card still stayed beneath the freaking bat. So, but we also have removal with the Abrade, which is also very darn good because it can destroy artifacts, but it can also deal 3 damage to a creature, and that is very darn nice. We have Malcolm, where I forgot at least one time that he has flash. So, uh, when he attacks and uh, when, well, when it deals combat damage to a player, put a chorus counter on it, and you draw a card and discard a card, and if there are 4 or more chorus counters on it, you may cast a discarded card without paying the mana cost. Which is pretty darn good if you ask me. I like that a lot. I still am so in awe how good the camera looks. I have to say it's just amazing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I will be looking over there for a little bit. Oh, I kicked down my capture card. That should not happen. So, uh, here we are. Capture card is saved. Oh my lord, the cabling is also not that good yet. So, let's get back into the deck. We have some more very saucy things. Like the Captain Storm Cosmium Rider. Raider? Raider. So, Captain Storm, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you put a 1-1 one -one count on a target pirate you control. That is very nice, because Breaches gives you artifacts, this in the worst case gives you artifacts, 
But we also have some artifacts with the subterranean schooner. I call it schooner because I'm German, so if it's schooner, whatever. Uh, whenever it attacks, target creature that crew that explores. Very darn tasty. So you can play this on turn two. On turn three, you play whatever other pirate. You crew it, attack in, bam, it explores. Uh, but also the belligerent. Whenever the belligerent attacks, you create a treasure token. Very darn freaking good. So with this, you create a treasure for this. You create a treasure here. These are artifacts. You can make a treasure here in the worst case if you really freaking want to. And also until end of turn, you may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. This is crew three. So uh, yeah, Captain Storm. If you play the belligerent while Captain Storm is on the battlefield, you can pump Captain Storm up and attack with the belligerent while crewing freaking Captain Storm. And uh, one last saucy card is the Sapphire Singer. It says Convoke, and each creature that convoked it gets a flying counter on it. So now even your Breaches and your Captain Storm have freaking flying. If you bring down the boat and then you just, you know, convoke it with that, now the boat has flying, and you know, there's nothing more scary than a flying freaking a boat. Also, also, these mites, the Mirex tokens, those are freaking artifacts. So, you will have an artifact for that as well, which is also pretty darn freaking tasty. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy with the deck, I must say. It's a very darn cool freaking deck. We also have the Cavern of Souls, of course, because we're playing pirates, and that is it. Oh, yeah, Char the Courts, the old version, because it's very good. And Brackish Plunder, also kind of our removal spell in here. So, we have some removal, we have some, you know, tempo game, and that is all there is to Field of Ruin to destroy those pesky freaking manlands that is it so yeah i hope you will enjoy captain crunch let me know what you think about the camera there's still some other things i can do like turning it into like something like this more or more like this you know we will find out all together if you have some ideas if you would like to change something please let me know i will be going back into this view for one last time so thank you all so very freaking much i hope you will enjoy my take on pirates i'm Matches malone and i'll see you in those mighty games! Yar! We're up against a rhino? That is kind of overly excessive, you know? This hand is so whack. <laughs> so whack. Alright, this hand is slightly better, I guess. Let's get rid of you here. Okay, I mean, hey, you know, what you're gonna do about it, it's enchantments, isn't it? So, Field of Ruin coming down, I hope that we do find another land here that would be very, very cool. Oh, it's not, it's a token deck. Alright, I'm playing this here just to see what they're doing, the upgrade might be pretty good, you know? Um, I will destroy you. And here's Pirate, we ficked, and I will be getting rid of you here, you little tough cookie. You control? No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. This shall be enough. Alright, <laughs> just... Why? Why would I have done that? Why? Please tell me, why should I have do that, done that? Alrighty, that is pretty good though, you know, them just having another one of them. Just very, very darn freaking good. Okay, and Ozolith, alright. I still think that just getting rid of this is just a little bit better. So, submit zero, you get out of here. And uh, now I just slam in, question mark. And then next turn with breaches, we can start doing them dirty, you know, at least that's my freaking plan. Double Tough Cookie versus Double Kite Sail Larsenist. I think the Larsenist freaking wins. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. Um, I'm still playing Breaches here. I will make myself a treasure. Uh, create a treasure. And exile the top card that hopefully is a land. It is not a land. It is my second belligerent. The other one's on the bottom here. Oh, that ain't bueno. That ain't bueno at all. Okay, alright. Gaining three life here. 
That's fine with me. Yeah, absolutely fine with me. Oh my, okay. I'm still kind of okay with that, you know? Kinda. Not perfectly fine, but kinda. Alright, no blockage whatsoever. Um... Here is the captain now. I am attacking in with everything. They're creating a treasure. Exiling the top card and you cannot block anymore. Perfect. Freaking perfect. Um, let's put it here. Alright, they cannot block anyways. We're getting in for eight. Which is pretty darn good, you know. Now... A uh, pirate again. Plain Malcolm. And I will be playing the Schooner as well. Is it Schooner? Is it Schooner? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. Alright, so we can block one of these suckers, you know? Or maybe even both. Right now they're on 12, technically. But I still feel like we will be getting them here. Alright? Yeah, we're totally getting them here. Can I do anything in instant speed? Nope. Nope, they can't. Alright, so I'm taking 7 here and then I'm just slamming in. I'm just freaking slamming in. Like, there's no reason to make a map even here, you know? Also, I was slightly moving away further and further from the truth. Alright! Yeah, looking good, Rhino! What you doing next? Scoop, they're not even scooping. All right, that is pretty cool, pretty cool, must say. Maybe they're scooping now, nope. All right, create a treasure. Target creature, and they scoop now. <laughs> oh no, them choosing the mode that takes way too long. I will not be doing that. What am I, mad? I ain't got time for your shenanigans. That was you, Rhino, that was you. Just a panda! The last time somebody told me that, I was ripped to shreds! <laughs> Crimus! Yes, my friend, it is freaking Crimus. Okay, I like the hand here, I must say. Huge fan, huge fan. Hello? Hello there! Where is it? Hello, friendly waver of the hand. So, the shooter comes down. Afterwards, we can play the Larsenist, but I might be going with the Captain Storm, you know, because... Am I? I don't even know. Pianalar! Well, that uh, changes everything. Good day to you, Pianalar! Submit zero. I'm always confused. Why does it do that? Ooh, chart a course, by the way. Chart a course. Alrighty. Uh, yes, I would like that. Thank you very much. Thank you also very much. Alrighty. Guardian. And they flick it up here and it comes back. That's crazy. Absolutely freaking crazy. Okay. I mean, I'm still attacking in. Maybe I find a land. Another braid? Not really. Next to blockers. The Magio. I would gamble on the land. I will just freaking gamble on a land. Come on, gamble it up! Nope. Okay, I shall I shall be sad. I shall be sad that in so many freaking cards. What is it? Six cards I've drawn? Zero lands. Zero freaking lands, man. Oh my, okay. That's kind of bad. But I do have this. So it is still kind of fine. Alright. Submit zero, you become a treasure, just like you deserve. And, um... I am just slamming in with everything. Brackish plunder. You know, I would really like to find a land here again. What is... why? I mean, yes, I have one land less. One land less, but... No land and 15 cards, like, that is crazy. Freaking crazy. So, just a panda. Still gaining the life, but now... Oh, they can still use it. Yeah, they can still use it. Can still freaking use it. 
Okay. This is incredible. <laughs> this is literally freaking incredible. Okay. So I'm bringing down Malcolm here. Shunoing it up. Um, attack in with these two. Land? Still no land, but breaches is too good. Breaches just too good. Okay, all right. So I needed to keep one blocker back, especially with the monster's rage. That is just very, very good. So we will see what they're doing now. Maybe they have another freaking, uh, you know, angel fire ignition, which wouldn't surprise me to be honest. Not even close to surprising me. Okay, and... They do have something. I wonder what it is. Monsters Raggio. Okay. Fair trade, fair trade. I'm all for it. All freaking for it. So here's breaches now. This game is absolutely crazy, man. That I cannot find a land in so many turns is just absolutely insane to me. Okay. Uh, creating a treasure. And exiling the top card because maybe it is a land. It is a land! Oh! Oh, it is a land! The belligerent a little bit too late. I cannot keep this. Okay. Will they let me bring down a chorus counter? They're taking it? You need to go. I'm ending the turn. I still have the abrade here, you know? But that is still kind of fine. Because I can just shoot this sucker. And I will. Trust me. I will. Resolve. Yeah, I mean, I'm still, you know, shooting that. I was just thinking that I would lose life here, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. Okay. <laughs> I just thought I would be losing life here. Okay, but I freaking do not lose life here. I mean, I think we win. Oh, now we find a lens. Okay, game. <laughs> okay. So, um, getting you here, attacking in with everything. Uh, yes. Our creature cannot block. Making a treasure, exiling the top card. It's another breaches. Breaches, 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 breaches. Yeah, at that song. I think we win. I'm not really certain, but I think we freaking win here. I just can't block. They go into yeah, good game. Tell me about it, man. Freaking tell me about it. All right. I mean, hey, we're still getting in it for eight. What is with the land situation, man? <laughs> Yar mighty! I will kick you over the plank! I don't know how pirates speak and I don't even care. All pirates I know are from One Piece and those are Nakama, not pirates! Get out of here! Oh, pirates! Breaches, 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 breaches. Oh my lord, Krimus! Yes! Absolute Krimus, man! Absolute freaking Krimus! Let's act like we're mono red, but we're not. Everybody's so creative. Okay, all right. A uh, pirate. Uh, let's pass the turn. We can just bring in Malcolm. Flashed. Because that is how smart we are. Okay. All right. You have a shooter yourself, eh? But if that is all you have, I'm okay with that. All righty. 
Let's do this. Just so that we have a good blocker for the Schooner. The next turn we can bring down the Captain. And Convoke once more. And then everything is flying! Alright. <laughs> Bit of triumph. Alright, you do that my friend. You freaking do that. That was always allowed. So, here's the Captain. And here's another Sapphire Singer. I would have never thought that I would be using this card. <laughs> never. Never in my entire life. Also five lands, the first ten cards. And 23 land deck. Exactly what you want to see. It's 100%. Exactly. What I was asking for for Krimis. Okay, alright. Uh, let us attack in first. Because of Malcomio. It's a not... Come on. Game. There, there, there is a hard limit, you know? And this hard limit should have been reached a long time ago. A very, very long time ago. A 2, 4, 6, 7 lands in the first 12 cards. In a 23 land deck. Look at me, game. Look at me. No. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Okay, alright. And still block it alright, you know. Breaches is freaking amazing here. Just freaking amazing. Okay, alright. We're just slamming in with everything. Create a treasure. Target creature cannot block. That is you. Exile the top card. Subterranean Schooner coming down. Uh, I'm putting it here so that they cannot attack in with the Schooner anymore. Um, that is right, baby! Breaches, 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 breaches! You're doing so well, my friend! You're doing so well, but still! <laughs> what was the land situation? What is going on? Why is only... The land situation, the thing that gives me worries, not my opponents. I don't care about opponents. My only opponent is my deck. Get out of here, deck. I must admit, I totally thought Pirates is just a gimmick, you know? Pirates is okay, you know? Oh my lord, Krimus, yes. Absolute freaking crap. I cannot keep the hand, though. This hand is way better. I'm getting rid of the brackish plunder. Because, you know, if I can bring down breaches here, I'm happy. But if they destroy it, I will be sad. Come on, come at me, duress me, my friend. Freaking duress me. So we don't have the spell pierce now, which is pretty darn good. Against most of their things. Um, well, breaches it is. Bringing down Schooner now. I mean Schooner. And then we still have the Spell Pierce for the freaking Liliana that they will be bringing down now. Now you cannot fool me, my friend. I know you have it. We all know you have it. You also, right? Everybody knows it. Okay, alright. Where are we going with the Larsenist first? Submit zero. I don't want him to have a treasure. I really freaking don't. Okay, do you think they have a go for it? Well, whatever, they have a, a freaking spell pierce, so that is still fine. Still absolutely fine. Yeah. Nice try, my friend. Nice freaking try. Okay, attacking in. A land. Not what I want to see in the first 10 cards, but I'll take it for now. Is there a shadow coming down now? I'm waiting for it. Or a Liliana still, you know? Might still be a Liliana. It's a Besiege the Mirror, so here comes Sheldred. Here comes freaking Sheldred. But! That's a big but! You cannot lie! Uh, I will be bringing down Breaches here. Crew the Breaches. Well, with the Breaches. Slam in. They cannot block. Uh, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Very good. 
Spell Pierce number two, eh? Yeah, why the freaking heck not? Okay, all right. Hopeless nightmare, fine with me. Absolutely fine with me. And I go for the throat here. All right. Well, I will be drawing. Now I just, you know, attack in regularly. But to go for the throat here sucked a lot. Really. Like, you know, all the things they have, they all suck a lot. <laughs> all of them. Okay, draw. Oh, come on! Game! Game! Not like this! Not freaking like this! Six lands in the first 13! Come on, man! Come on! That is just unreasonable. Freaking unreasonable. Okay. Draw. That is super good. Super darn freaking good. I love every single thing about it. Submit zero. You get out of here. Turn into a freaking pumpkin. Now I finally can do something. Holy smokes, the amount of lands I've just drawn. Just incredible. Malcolm? Yes. Heart selection? Muy importante. Alright, ending the turn. You can do whatever you want to do. Oh, they lost the treasure! They lost it! So, what you got it for me, my friend, now? Like, I defeat you next turn. If you don't have an answer here, I will just freaking defeat you. To your own freaking Phyrexian arena. So come at me, bro! Trying to defeat the mass of mono black with mono black, even though I'm drawing like 50% lands. I don't care. I really don't care. It's not 50, but almost. Almost 50, you know? Jeez Louise, if you wanna play a black deck, hey! I have a tip for you. Go to your computer or your smartphone, the choice is yours. Go to www.youtube.com. <laughs> Just watch my deck. All right, another shadow will be coming down here, but it won't be a nerf. Just won't be a nerf. Like whatever they do, you know, I will be able to get in for at least two creatures because I have the freaking Malcolm coming down. And you know, once you're on YouTube, go to my channel. I don't know if I finished the sentence. I was taken afar from the Besieged Mirror. <laughs> and just, you know, watch the Master of Mono Black in action. This, what even is this deck, man? It looks ridiculous. The back of your head looks ridiculous, man. Good game. Good freaking game, man. Oh, you can measure your defeat, man. You can measure it. And please, while you're at it, take off your shoes, man, because all you're gonna see is the feet. We're up against a math magician, and they have a very cool avatar, though. I mean, hey, you know, pretty good. Pretty good. And it's terrible. Pretty terrible. <laughs> and it's way better. I will be getting rid of the mountain here. Who needs the mountain anyways? Alright, Severus Singer. Cavern of Souls, pretty good here. A pirate. All right, bring it out to Captain Storm, Cosmium Raider. Captain Storm and the Cosmium Raiders. So, yeah, you can have it with your stupid Esper mid-range. Boring freaking deck. Wedding announcement, kind of to be expected here. Kind of to be freaking expected here. But I will offer them a trade. Would you like to trade everything? For one of my creatures. Nope, you wouldn't. Okay. Would not like to do that. Absolutely understandable. They... Come on, man. Come on. Every single time they just have an answer. Well, that is pretty good, though. We can get rid of that. I like that. I like that a lot. Not gonna lie about it. So they're drawing a card here also. They're drawing a freaking card here instead of, like, you know, getting stuff. Which is pretty darn freaking good. 
So here's breaches again. Attacking again for the treasure. At least you know they're playing one new card. That is already cool. <laughs> that is already very cool. So. Ending the turn here. I don't think that they're playing counter spellage. I think they're just full on Asper boringness. Full on freaking Asper boringness. Which I understand, you know? The Wandering Emperor. Okay. Why, though? Oh, that is why. Okay, alright. Understandable. You crew in the schooner, though. Nope. They're just freaking chilling here. Alright. You get out of here then. You. Get freaking out of here then. Alright, I'm going to do something crazy now. But I think it is totally freaking worth it. Because we want to win, you know? Like, of course we do. <laughs> of course we do. And this looks pretty tasty. Uh, what are they doing? Destroying my Sephir Singer now? Do you have now another freaking removal in hand? Well, if you do, there's nothing I can do about it, is there now? Literally freaking nothing I can do about it. Two, four, six. They have six lands. That is also very bad for... They really do. They really freaking do. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Okay, all right. But at least you know we got this going for us. At least we got this going for us. And it also means that they cannot play the Virtue, which is also pretty good. But they're still getting in there for eight now. Oh, okay. Oh, they have another Wandering Emperor in hand. Clear as freaking day. Clear as day. Okay, please don't be a land. Just don't be a land. Just whatever you do. Chart a course. Not really what I'm looking for here. Malcolm is okay, though. Attacking with you. Raiding a treasure. Putting the treasure here. We still need to be careful, you know? We cannot just go nilly-willy doing whatever we want here. So now I'm drawing two cards. They have a counter spell? Are you joking? Well, I mean, that means that we kind of are looking very, very good here still, you know? Uh, decline. <laughs> decline. Oh, my lord. <laughs> what was your top deck? Alright, that is not enough, math magician. That is most certainly not enough. But you got it for me, my friend. I mean, you could still bait me, you know? You could still freaking bait me. It cannot have another Wandering Emperor. It just can't. Raid a treasure. Exile the top card. The Schooner. Coming down. Putting it here. If they have an A-Ganjo, which they don't... Looks like we win, then! Fairy Mastermind! Interesting! Okay, all right, um, yeah, okay, all right. Ending the turn. And here I was playing around a freaking a ganjo man. So what have you gotten for me now, my friend? Show me what you got. What more top deck do you want? Do you have more top deck? If you do wipe the board here, I will be slightly sad. They do not wipe the board here. Oh, the only board that gets wiped is the boring sweater. Like, can I not rank up? How many games have I won now? It's just the boringness of Asper midrange. Like, 
I've played what? Four games? I won them all, I've ranked what? Zero? That makes no sense, get out of here, ranking system, just because I ate soup in between. We're up against Newbie Max. I wonder why can I get a rank up, man? I, yeah, I ate soup in between, I'll admit it. I took a break for like 30 minutes or something like that. But still, there is no reason. No reason whatsoever. So as long as we do find one land, I'm happy. Just one little land and I'm happy. Okay, there's the one land that I was hoping for. Very good, very good. The Celestus? No, you don't. You just don't. Just, just don't. Just freaking don't. Okay, Larson is coming down. No targets. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. So what you got here for me, my friend? What have you got here for me? I wonder, I ponder. Zephyr Singer also very darn good. Big score. Oh. Oh, okay, all right. Let's still bring down one of these. So, they are a um, Breach the Multiverse deck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aglazotst. Well, you know what we say to that. Not today, my friend! Not today! So, I'm getting enough for five. Ending the turn. I could have drawn, but I want to destroy this Axelazot's treasure. Just in case they wipe the board, you know? Just in case they want to wipe the board here. It's a Tali. Alright, there is not too much they could steal from me that would annoy the heck out of me. Not too much. Some of it, but not too much. Malcolm, alright. I can shoot Malcolm. And I will, just to be mana freaking efficient, you know? Alright, I'm doing this just in case I draw something that is worth it. Like Breaches here, for example. Very freaking worth it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That needs nine, which they don't have. So let's just slam in here. Create a treasure. Target creature cannot block. And I'm exiling the top card. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, that is pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Okay. All right. So. Come at me, bro. Like I like to say. Come freaking at me, bro. Like there is what? A Malcolm? A Sapphire Singer. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that part. But what are you doing now? Brothershood end. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that sucks real bad. Double Brothershood end. Yeah, right, man. Yeah, freaking right. Nice. Double Brothershood end, you know. That is and we draw land here. And we draw freaking land here. Good game, my friend. Good game. Yeah, that was, that was, you know. I thought we had him, but double brothers at end? Nah, man. Nah, come on. Stop with the yoking, man. Stop with the yoking. We have time for one more game and we're up against the chicken. Chicken Alfredo. All right. Hand is okay, you know? I can live with this hand. Oh, yes, I can. So I will act like I'm mono red. Totally do that. And then shabam! Pirates. <laughs> That is what I will be doing. So I won't be able to play these two things here though, which... Oh, they are really mono red. Wow. Wow. The season is almost over and you still play mono red. You must be a very fun person. Very, very fun. Alrighty. That is kind of okay though. Oh, that isn't... That isn't okay at all. Alright. Okay, game. Yeah, that is, you know, I wanted one blue source, not drawing two lands again in a row, just like every single game. 
<laughs> oh, game. Oh, game. Okay, so... Well, that is fine, you know? Absolutely fine. Um... Pirate. Now we'll be getting rid of um, this Monastery Swift Spare, yo. And no attacks. We still need to chill. We still need to freaking chill. Phoenix Chick number two. Alright, Spear Guard number two. Are you just turning sideways? Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Alright. I mean, hey, you know, you do you, my friend. You do freaking you. Get your little rat. Um. Want to attack in here like this? Chart a freaking course. And to turn. We can still flash in, Malcolm, you know? Um. Uh, how many? Three? Four? What are you doing? What do you have? Oh, Sock and Sun. This person doesn't care at all. Just does not freaking care at all. I don't freaking care either, though. Because what are they supposed to do, you know? We'll just turn you into freaking pumpkin. Attack in with this. And then we start racing next turn. Okay. You have another sock and son? Bloodthirsty. Why? Why did you use the treasure then? <laughs> why? Oh my lord. Oh, that is why. Okay, alright. I mean, hey, you know. Pretty good for you. Pretty darn good for you. Monstrous rage though here. If they have a lightning strike off the top, it won't be enough. For them. Just won't be freaking enough for them. Do you think they will still be attacking? <laughs> Do you think they still will be attacking here? Alright, they won't. Um... Doing it like this. Now. I will only be attacking in with this for now. Treasure here. Doing this. Wait, could I have one here? Should have. Should have. Okay. Alright, I haven't played a land yet. It's pirates again. And it's another land. Alright. Okay. Well. Nothing to do but ending the turn. So, lightning strike would still freaking defeat me here. Lightning strike would still be my end. Okay. I mean, that's two damage to my face. But then next turn, they're just freaking dead, so. They're just freaking dead, so. Oh my lord. <laughs> Game. <laughs> oh, Mono Red. Oh, Mono Red. If you would have been a little bit more patient, maybe you would have even gotten me. Uh, look. Even with freaking all the lands, three, six, seven lands, yeah! We still freaking got him! Oh, baby! What is with the no red? Oh, yeah, I lost the last game, that is why. So I went eating soup in between. I lost one game, so in six games I cannot get one rank up because I was eating soup. Because of soup? Get out of here, freaking match-giving ranker.
thing does not compute. Pirates, baby! Yar Mari! And all of that as a One Piece fan. I'm very happy that pirates are good, I must say. It's a very cool thing. So, uh, yeah. I'm very happy. Once more, let me know what you think about the new camera. I think it is pretty darn cool. A uh, huge shout out, of course, to all of my patrons and members. You know what? Let's get to this view real freaking quick, just for a second here. Um, you know, it's. Uh, I'm very happy. The new camera looks good for me. I like it a lot. Like, once more, there's a lot of things that I could change. Like, I could turn on this light here as well. Things would be looking a little bit different then. I don't know, it's not a, on full power yet. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff. So, if you have any clues, whatever, I'm not that good with camera technology yet. Even though it's kind of my job. But, hey, uh, I will do my best to get it to work, you know, and to make it look even better in the future. But I really freaking like how this is looking. I mean, you can still see everything on the behind. But it's not like this prominent like it was before. And, dude, everything looks so sharp. I will be, uh, you know... Be having to be a little bit more careful with my beard in the future, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you also very freaking much. If you are still here, let me know by putting a little Cat Malone down in the comments. You're mighty, I would appreciate it very freaking much. And please remember, my friend, that if you're waking up tomorrow morning and see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Match Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.